Hello and welcome to RCTV UK. In this episode, we're going to be taking another look at the helicopter frame. Now, I've uh, I've had this up in the air. Those of you may have seen the video um, using the ProFlight ESCs. Really, really pleased with it. But you may have uh, remember me saying 30 amps is a bit overkill for the helicopter with the motor setup that we were using. So I've pulled all the stuff off of here. Now that I've got, you know, I've kind of got an idea of the setup that I want to use on it, I'm actually going to be painting the helicopter black so it just looks a little bit slicker. So that's why that's all bare at the moment. So four ASCs and uh, a power distribution board. Uh, you know, it all fit very nicely on the helicopter and so on, but we've just received a delivery and this is the Q-Brain from Hobby King uh, now it's uh, this is a 20 25 amp version it comes with a Chinglish manual uh, and it really is Chinglish um, but all the information that you need is there it's very very easy to set this up um, once you've deciphered the uh, the manual, it comes with this little uh, TH hub, uh, which is a throttle hub. This is for setting up uh, and changing the parameters on the the ESCs on there. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're just literally we're going to fit this and fly it straight out of the box. Now it's not a flight controller, but it's. Uh, uh, an ESC bank if you like so there's four electronic speed controllers on there each of which has three wires going off to your motor so what I'm intending to do because of the configuration of the motors I'll give you a, a, a close-up shot of this let's do it that way because that's that'll be like you're looking at it from the back of the copter because of the configuration of the motors or the ESCs within this block um, I'm actually wanting to fit it upside down so that motor one is here, motor two is there, motor three is there, and four is there because that's the way that it's set out on the KK board. So that's going to make my life nice and easy. So I intend to fit this on the bottom of the helicopter frame like so i'm just going to velcro mount it on the bottom of there and then if i want to swap it out all i do pull the velcro off cut the zip ties take the wires off and then if i want to replace it or if i want to go back to using small escs it's very very simple to do i'm just going to run the three wires up the arms it, i mean it looks like it was almost made for the helicopter so that's uh, that's really cute. Now, what one of the why would you want to use this? Now, someone was saying, um, oh, if one of the ESCs go duff, you've got to throw the whole thing away. Uh, yeah, okay, but it was twenty quid. I think twenty pounds UK pounds delivered. So, I, I remember when you were paying uh, that for. A uh, Simon K flash DSC. So you know what? I, don't, I really don't see the problem. Um, obviously, if it turns out to be a piece of crap, then we've got a problem. Um, but we're going to let you know whether we think it's crap or not. And look how simple this is. Four ESCs, all going off in different places, not in the centre of the copter, mounted on the arms, and then you've got your pad, the distribution board, and all your wires, and let's just take all that, and put that over there for a second. Look how neat and tidy that is. One, one item, and now I'm not sure what the weight saving is. Look how simple that is. One of those wires goes to your flight controller. Uh, the, the wire, there's a single wire in these and only one of them 
number three carries the power to your um, flight controller. Um, so one, two and three are red, brown and yellow. And the signal goes to the right hand side um, of the KK board. Uh, for, that, that's what I'll be using. So really, really simple. Not as many wires. We're going to pop an XT60 on there and get this up on the frame. So this is just the, the pre-build preview, guys. Uh, this is our first look at the Q-Brain. Um, first impressions are um, very impressive. The, the quality of the silicon wire is really, really good. Um, I'm a bit fussy about my soldering. And to be honest, it doesn't look too bad. I've given everything a good tug. It all looks nicely fitted. The actual unit itself looks very, very smart. Um, they've even given a little shelf there on those couple of capacitors. There's a little shelf so that stops them getting knocked from underneath and they're shrunk wrapped to it. So there you go, guys. That's the first look at the Q-Brain. I'm going to get this sprayed up tomorrow and fit the Q-Brain and we're going to get this back in the air. Thank you very much for tuning in to this uh, episode of RCTV UK. I'm Mel Barnard, signing off, bye for now.